When I was eight years old, desperately, the only career goal I had was to be an actress in Hollywood. And over the next several years, I was progressively put off that goal by various people who told me that I couldn't do certain things. No, you can't sing, so don't even try. Um, oh, uh, we'd love to have you as the narrator in the school play rather than the lead performer. So um, this was pretty depressing, but I uh, adapted and um, became the publicist instead of the star, the producer instead of the, you know, lead actor. And somehow I fell into producing, which I didn't even know was a job when I was a teenager, but turns out to be the best job in the entire world. And so since I graduated as a producer um, from AUT, I've worked on arts shows for TVNZ. I've made a documentary with Flight of the Concords for TV3. Um, I worked in Parliament for a while as a press secretary, that was pretty awesome. Done a lot of work for Radio New Zealand and for BFM in Auckland. And I've just finished a comedy web series with a brilliant young chap called Joseph Hersher and I think it's the most delightful, old-fashioned, fabulous new comedy series that's been made in the last wee while. I also somehow fell in with a bunch of ukulele players in Wellington and over the last 10 years we've been travelling New Zealand and the world playing ukulele to whoever will listen to us. At a point in my producing career I was just wrapping up a series called New Artland with the wonderful Chris Knox and um, my father was dying of cancer and so my friend Amanda and I decided that we needed to jump on a plane and go to New York for 10 days and just have a blowout, get away from it. The day after we arrived we went to a free concert in a park in Brooklyn and within 10 minutes I'd met a lovely handsome mountain of a man from West Auckland as it turns out who owns a pie business in New York City and we fell in love. Now that I've wrapped up the comedy series I was, we were right in the middle of the comedy series filming at Motat actually in Auckland which was loads of fun and I was sitting there thinking I wonder, I wonder what the next project is going to be, whether it's going to be another series of this or should I start thinking about making a feature film, then it turned out I was pregnant so I guess that's my next project. I'm a Pākehā mongrel but there's a lot of Irish in there and a little, little bit of Italian uh, so the food thing I guess in my family started with scones and tea and beautiful delicious Sunday roasts and then my parents um, decided that instead of working for the man they'd rather work for themselves and set up a catering business which we all worked at as teenagers for years it was brilliant that's basically how we got through school and university without student loans that were enormous and um, had a lot of food around and were exposed to a lot of different styles of cooking and you know, we were probably the first family in our neighbourhood who stopped putting tins of spaghetti and pineapple on our pizzas and started actually thinking about pizzas in an Italian sense. Since I graduated 21 years ago, oh my god, I have been working in a huge range of you know areas within the media and I've, I've done current affairs and I've done politics and I always felt that those areas of pursuit within the world of media were really important um, but it turns out that what I prefer to do and think is equally important is to work on things that bring people joy. You know in a small way by, by having narrowed down my career focus to things that delight people and bring them magic and joy um, maybe just you know a small part of that is also helping to change the world or you know, inspire people to think differently about uh, how we can stop destroying this incredible 
place that we're lucky enough to be um, citizens in and protectors of.